Hi, so I thought I'm gonna show you how to connect your Xbox One to stream to any any Windows phone or tablet or in my case a disk, my computer or laptop so let's see, it's gonna be a little bit hard because I just have my Lumia to record with but hope you can follow so now for the first thing I'm gonna power on my Xbox One like that and let's log into the computer like that oh, let's see let's play Witcher it's a great game by the way and here you can see my profile my gamer tag is Los Corp if you want to add me Los Corp and okay let's start so the first thing you want to do is make sure that you're on the same Wi-Fi as the Xbox One let's open the settings from here like that or actually we're gonna go through the settings here and internet and you have to make sure that they're both on a home group where a shared home group I have done that already but let's see as you can see you have to have your Xbox one listed here like that and yeah that's it that's all you have to do on the computer or well, we can start now the Xbox companion app which is preloaded on the Windows 10 tablets and computers and then let's see on the Xbox one you have to make sure in the settings and all settings whoops I'm doing this as one shot so don't mind the small mistakes here and then you go to to network and network settings and oh sorry let's see network settings no, it was the wrong, sorry. It's there. Or preferences. And make sure that you have all those checked. Which allows it to stream to another tablet or computer. Yeah. So now, you can see that I'm connected already here because there's a green dot where the stream is possible to play so I'm just gonna start just gonna start the game like that and then we have to connect this one it says stream now there and now it's starting to connect it just says something that oh it just said that I had to connect my control pad which was already connected but now as you can see they are both connected it's the same screen I can play in any room as long as of course the the controller and the controller's reach will be able to get to the Xbox one 
I think this is one of the coolest things about Windows 10. The only cool thing about Windows 10, actually. But now, as you can see, it starts on both, both of the screens. It's a little bit after on the Windows 10, but you won't notice that, of course, when you're in a different room. I can see the original TV, which is it is connected to. Yeah, but that's it. Simple, and if you have any questions, you can put them on. You can comment on this video or add me as a friend on Xbox One. That's it. Thanks for watching.